Hey friends, today I am hanging out at Epcot and I wanted to come out and show you guys some of my favorite unique drinks and snacks in Epcot's World Showcase, but also ride some rides and even watch a show or two. So, let's go do this. I'm going to head straight back to World Showcase, but I wanted to give you guys a look at Test Track. Looks like it's about a 35 minute wait, but usually when the line is out this far, I think it might be a little bit longer. I'm going to try to go back and ride Test Track a little bit later on. The reason I want to head right into World Showcase is the first stop is a coffee drink, and I can use a little pep in my step. It's a nice way to get yourself going. But man, oh man, today is one of those days. It is just the perfect temperature to go walking around World Showcase. We have a little breeze. It's nice and hot, not too humid. I think I'm going to enjoy this. I got this new Tommy Bahama shirt, and I've always wanted one of these, especially like the Pirates of the Caribbean one, but they're like $175. I was at Marshall's the other day, and I found this one. It was only $29.99. How crazy is that? They had their original price tag, and it was $149, and I'm like, I gotta get this, and I'm so happy I did. My first stop is going to be right here in the Norway Pavilion to get myself a Viking coffee. I've been actually wanting to get one of these for a while and I felt like today would be a good day to do it. On top of the Viking coffee, they also have a Pride Month dessert that I've seen that looks pretty delicious. So we might get that as well if it's available. Look at all these amazing desserts. And right here, that's the actual pride cake, the rainbow cake. This looks so good because I probably like this a lot. It's one of my favorite desserts for the Festival of the Arts. So I'm going to like this. So I'm going to get one. Oh yeah, this is looking good. We got ourselves a dessert and a little Viking coffee. I can't wait to try this actually. Oh, that is good. Oh yeah. <laughs> This is basically coffee with Bailey's Irish Cream and Kimura Coffee Liqueur. And then this right here is the actual cake that is for Pride Month. And look at that. It's a frangipan. I'm going to give it a go here. I hope it doesn't melt. It, it melts pretty quickly. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's the way. A little coffee and cake, if I don't mind. Oh, that is really good. Wow. And I thought that because I, you know took my time actually eating it. It melted a little bit. I think it made it better. It's very soft and very delicious. Not too sure how many layers that is, but it is pretty. I would definitely get this again. Now this is just a limited time menu item in there, but they have some amazing desserts in there that are all year round. So I wanted to try this because it's like I said, limited time. I like it though. It's very good. Another really awesome thing is you can drink your Viking coffee and also say hi to Elsa. I like her little uh, meet and greet location here. It's very pretty. I love the setting. Looks like somebody was chopping some wood back there. Very cool. Now the Viking coffee you can get actually three different ways. You can get it hot, iced, or frozen. If you get it frozen, it gets like chocolate sauce and some other garnishings. And I feel like that's just too much sweet. Uh, I like my just coffee taste with a little bit of liquor in it. I, that, that's the way I like it. But if you guys have ever had it before, which way do you prefer? Since I just got a Viking coffee, I might hop in the line here and ride Frozen Ever After. We're right outside the China Pavilion, so I bet you it's about 40 minutes, maybe 50 minutes. This might be looking like it's a little bit more than 45 minutes. I've probably been here about, uh, I'd say 20 minutes in, and I haven't left the China Pavilion yet. I'm still actually in front of it. I started all the way over there, made my way through here, and now we're coming up actually on the Norway Pavilion. I'm about to actually head into the attraction, so I had to put my mask back on, but it says 50 minutes. I've been in line for 35 minutes, which actually, that's not too bad. I can't complain. I don't know how much longer there is to wait on the inside, but at least it's air conditioned. I feel like I'm definitely sweating a little bit. I'll be out in a minute. Oh, every purchase. Look at this. And we made it, and we got lucky row number one. How fancy.
was super fun and like I said waited about an hour not too shabby but it's still great just to be able to go for a ride on frozen the best thing is to get out of the Sun and it's a really nice AC ride and plus it's cool as we came out of frozen it looks like they're lifting up the bridge so that means they're either bringing out a new barge or something pretty big that doesn't fit under there I still think it's interesting to watch we're gonna see what actually comes through there in the past they used to lift that bridge every single day to bring out the illuminations barges but I don't know what they're doing now ah that's what it is right there that's what wasn't fitting underneath the bridge Wow, they brought out two or three things already. Really interesting. Now I think I'm in a backtrack. I came in, went straight to Norway to get myself the Viking coffee, and now we're gonna work our way back to Mexico and maybe around the world showcase the other direction. I like to mix things up a little bit, make it a little bit fun and snippy, you know? Now that we're over here in the Mexico Pavilion, I think I'm going to stop and get a margarita at the margarita stand. Now also along with the margaritas, they started selling street corn here that looks really actually appetizing. I'm not too sure if I can eat it right now, but if I can see one coming out of the kitchen, I'd love to show you because it does look good. Usually I tend to always get the Fiesta, which is the combination of three flavors, which is, I think it's strawberry, lime, and mango. But I want to try something unique, and I've seen on there they have a smoky, smoky pineapple margarita on the rocks. And I don't think I've ever had a smoky pineapple, so I think I'm going to go with that. I remember when this margarita stand first opened up, whenever anyone did order a fiesta, they actually threw a little fiesta here and like they celebrate and they had noisemakers and they'd be like, fiesta, fiesta, and it was real fun and it made the drink a lot funner than it is. Yeah, bud. Oh, there we go. That's the smoky pineapple. That's right. Did you get food as well? Oh yeah, we got some guacamole. Just hold on to the receipt, all right, buddy? Um, Thank you. This looks really good. Probably smoky. <laughs> and there's that street corn like I was talking about. That's not mine, but I wanted to show it. So look at that. <laughs> I'm actually a little bit afraid to try this. I mean, I know it's smoky in the title, but I wonder if it's like smoky spicy. These are just like smoky from the mascal. So we'll find out. Ooh, that's refreshing. Oh, I like that a lot, actually. I might drink that quick, though. That's the only issue. Like, whenever something's, like, really delicious and refreshing, you tend to take bigger sips. And when it comes to margaritas, that is not a good thing. <laughs> oh, this is actually a very delicious drink. Who would have known a smoky pineapple? I mean, like I said, normally I like to stay with what I like, the Fiesta. But now I can add this to my repertoire. I like it. It's delicious. Not to mention, I think this is the most expensive margarita on the menu there. The Fiestas or the frozen ones are $12. This is $15.50. Even the top shelf one is $15. So this got an extra 50 cents worth of uh, tequila in there. And I think I'm feeling it. <laughs> It is really fun to be able to just take your drink and go walk around World Showcase. Like I said, that's like the most exciting thing. I, I mean, I'm happy that I don't need to be wearing a mask outside anymore, but just the freedom to be able to walk around and drink, it is so amazing. And since we're over here, before we actually proceed to our next destination, I think I'm gonna hop back over and see what Test Track's like. Now it's kind of like we got a little rotation here. Get a drink, get a snack, ride a ride. So drink, snack, ride, drink, snack, test track. Oh, we didn't have a snack. Earlier when we were walking in, it said 35 minutes and the line was starting back here and then actually going through here. So like, I don't think it was 35 minutes because now the line's starting right here and it is 45 minutes. Test track is another ride where you actually cool off a lot because once you get out there and the wind's in your face, you dry up. So I'm looking forward to that. And the weight, it's not that bad at all.
<laughs> oh, the jerkiness. <laughs> oh, almost lost my hat. There we go. <laughs> That was so much fun. I love actually getting on there. And like I said, on a hot day, it's so great to ride because it really does cool you off. I already feel like a little bit better on my face, but like when you're up there and it's hitting that top speed, you're just like, <laughs> like that's how it is. Now I'm gonna make my way back into World Showcase, get some more snacks and maybe some more drinks. It all depends on what we come across. I do have one spot in mind where I wanted to get something. It's not new, it's just something I haven't tried yet. And I was like, you know what? Today feels like the day when I come to Epcot looking for unique drinks and snacks. This is one that I probably have to add to it. I don't know if you guys know this, but they announced a lot of the information for this upcoming Fruit and Wine Festival, and it's still Flower and Garden now until July 14th, so I think I'm going to stop at the Pineapple Promenade and get myself a pineapple beer, because I really do enjoy these. I had them actually on the opening day, and they had a flight, and I loved all of them, so I think I'm going to get the one that I like the most. I think this is the one that I liked. This is the Wicked Weed Brewing Fresh Pressed Weed Ale with Mango, Pineapple, and Guava. I I'm pretty sure this is the one I liked. I don't know. I'll find out once I try it, but it looks good. We'll give it a shot here. That is not the one I liked. <laughs> I think it was the first one I liked, but I can still drink this. It's, it's very sweet. This is more of a, like a fruit beer. Like you can't even tell it's beer actually. It's delicious though. This is still good, don't get me wrong, but the one I like the most definitely has to be the Three Daughters one. Because I know I didn't like the IPA much and that was the only other offering. So I guess next time when I come back, I know to get the Three Daughters, not the Wicked Weed. I mean, you might like this though if you like fruity beers. Just sitting here, relaxing, drinking a beer around World Showcase. This is such a great feeling. And it's just nice to be able to think that soon the mask mandate's gonna be gone in Florida. I don't know if Disney's gonna lift their mask mandate, but uh, I know Florida's actually gonna just like stop it altogether for fully vaccinated people. And uh, I'm excited to see what Disney will do. I mean, that's just a couple days away before uh, Florida does it. So we'll see Universal's all in, same with SeaWorld. If you're fully vaccinated, no mask, indoors, outdoors. Disney's still hanging on to the indoors a little bit. And that's cool. I mean, they can do whatever they need to do because I will be compliant because I just love being here. Now it's time we're gonna move along and we're gonna head on into the France Pavilion and we're gonna go get an ice cream sandwich, an actual made ice cream sandwich. Like they make these ice cream sandwiches fresh and a little bit unique. Now this isn't something new, but it's something I haven't tried before. And I know a lot of people are gonna be like, Nate, you've never had the ice cream sandwich in France? And no, so that's why I, I was like, today I'm gonna add that to the list. I always feel guilty when there's like an iconic thing that is at Disney that I haven't tried yet and I'm like, well, I have to get out there and try it. So many people talk good things about like this ice cream sandwich and I've never gotten to do it. That just shows you how massive like Disney is. I come here all the time and there are still things I've never done. Right in here is the Artisan Ice Cream Shop, and this is where they make the ice cream sandwiches, and they actually make make them like fresh. Like you pick your ice cream, and then they grill it like kind of in a waffle iron. Wait till you see, it's pretty fascinating. In fact, I don't think I've ever gotten anything out of this ice cream shop. So I'm like in a, like, a shocked mood because I, it just looks amazing. Here is a look at today's ice cream. They have caramel, cinnamon with caramelized pecan, cinnamon caramelized apple and crumble crunch, chocolate, coconut white chocolate, yogurt and blueberries, vanilla, mint chocolate, candied peanuts with chocolate peanut butter fudge, and coffee. Some very cool flavors, I would say. Looks like you can choose between a couple different sandwiches, a macaron sandwich, chocolate or seasonal, and then you can build your own, which that's probably what I'm gonna do. One scoop with your choice of sauce and a homemade brioche pressed warm bun. Here is a look at all the ice cream in there. Holy moly. Doesn't it all just look amazing? And look at the macarons down here. <laughs> Oh yeah, Are you I'm ready. I'm, ready. Okay. I'm like, oh boy. Look and that at was this. mint and raspberry, right? Yeah, mint and raspberry. That's okay. Holy you. moly. <laughs> what am I doing? Mm. 
was the one that was more upset. What? Look at that, and it goes right in there, and... Oh, wait, a little bit more raspberry. A little bit, all right, oh, yeah, oh, jeez. It smells great. I'm guessing it'll come, right? Okay, you ready? Yep. I figured that would be the natural one to go with that. Wow. Nine seconds. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. Nine. You ready? Oh, yeah. This is impressive. Oh, wow. I can smell it from here. Smells lovely. <laughs> And it never wants to come out. I wish you could stay with me. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That is really impressive how they make these ice cream sandwiches. I'm gonna try to figure out how I can like make a waffle iron and kind of do the same thing. I wonder if they sell attachments for that. But I'm excited to try this. A little bit of a mix up though, like I said, so mint chocolate, but vanilla ice cream is the mint with raspberry sauce. I hope it blends well. Here is the finished product. And look at that. I don't know if you just eat this like a sandwich or if it's a fork and a knife thing. I'm pretty sure we're gonna just eat it like a sandwich. Oh, I can see the ice cream's melting out the backside already. I think I'm just gonna, I think I'm just gonna go for it and eat it like a sandwich here. It's got a nice little wrapper in it, so we'll see how this goes. I'm excited to try it though. Oh, that is so good. It's like a minty jelly donut. I know that doesn't sound good, but to me, it is phenomenal. I love mint ice cream, and like it is, like with the raspberry sauce, like a jelly donut. So a good way to put it is minty jelly donut, but hot and fresh and cold at the same time. The way that it's presented, I thought it was gonna be like something kind of easy and neat to eat, but I did already dribble like some ice cream out of the bottom of it on my shirt. It is a little bit messy, so that's why they do give you all that wrapping paper. And uh, yeah, like I said, it's, it's very delicious. It's a, it's a strange combination, but it works. Let me know in the comments if you have had this ice cream sandwich. And if you have, what is your go-to combination? I mean, like I said, this is kind of like unique, but it worked really well. Uh, but I can see a couple of them actually mixing really good. Like, I was going to get the uh, chocolate can, uh, chocolate caramelized pecan and I was gonna use caramel sauce but then at the last minute I switched it up and I'm happy I did because I really like the way this came out now I can knock that off my bucket list but it was very delicious I probably come back and I want to swap out some some of the different flavors like there was one apple one that probably would have went so amazing with the caramel sauce so eventually I'll come back and do it again probably can't eat two of them because they are so massive and they're not too bad like they're six dollars like I would think something like that probably would be like 10 15 dollars here at Disney but six bucks you can't beat that now we're gonna move back into future world maybe get another ride in but first i stopped and i grabbed myself a good old harp a harp for the walk and uh i don't know we'll see what they have maybe soren or uh whatever else they have open over there depends on the wait times i think we're just gonna make our way up in this soren and see what the wait time is i mean i would like to ride the ride anyway but i have something that's kind of weird i want to show you something to do with the music here in future world so I'm over here in Future World, and I'm not too sure what this music is. I have never heard this before in Epcot. Like, can you hear this bush right here? What is that? But then if you go over here, just a couple steps away. And we're back to like regular Epcot music. What is happening here? I just felt like I had to show you guys that because the music kind of was like tripping me out. But if you guys know what that music is or if uh, it actually has a meaning behind it, please let me know because I would love to know. And now we got our mask on and we're ready to go soaring. Looks like we're heading on in here. 45 minute wait it's posted. So we'll see how long it takes. But I love this ride regardless. Hi friends. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome. 
I think it took just about 30 minutes. So it said 45, 30 minutes, not too shabby. And I would wait 45 minutes. I probably would wait like an hour to ride Soren if I was on vacation or anything like that. Because this is like my go-to ride. I love it. I love it actually a lot. Normally I like to ask for a specific row, but today I think we got the worst one. <laughs> this is a rough one. If you want the best seat, I would suggest trying to go for theater C, uh, row B, and row one. Or I guess like uh, area B. <laughs> so we're in the tower. We are ready for takeoff. I feel scared and get excited. And And with that, I think we are done here. I had a lot of fun today just hanging out at Epcot, getting some cool drinks and snacks. I liked all the Norway stuff that we got. The Viking coffee was phenomenal, but I have to say the ice cream sandwich was probably my favorite. I know that's been here a while, but I'm so happy that I finally went over and got one. I was like, okay, this was definitely worth the hype. Anywho's, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, but on the way out, just take a look at that big, beautiful spaceship Earth. Isn't it amazing? I love seeing it at night. I love seeing it during the day. I think it's just always amazing. I can probably see it a million times and just still look at it and just be happy. It really does make me smile.